In this video, we discuss Lorentz series expansion of a function. We already discussed Taylor series expansion, uh, and uh, if, if f of z is analytic, z naught f or then f of z has a Taylor series expansion. It is expansion in some neighborhood of uh, z okay. that means f of z can be written as sigma n equal to 0 to infinity the f and the derivative of z naught by n factor of z minus z naught all power n so the function if function is analytic at a point then there must have a neighbor series expansion now now we will uh, check uh, that means uh, if f of z is not analytic at z not uh, in any point then this there exists an x series expansion of uh, function at the z not so this generally generalizes uh, a Taylor series that uh, Lorentz series is generalizes the Taylor series so now here we want to develop a f of z in uh, z of powers of z minus z naught powers of z minus z naught when uh, f of z is singular at the z naught singular means f of z is not analytic analytic at the z naught so we cannot if f of z is not analytic at z naught we cannot use a Taylor series expansion so instead we can use a new series called Lorentz series and this Lorentz series consisting of positive integer powers of z minus n0 here in Taylor series the powers of n is powers of z minus n0 is positive right this is only n, n, n ranges from 0 to infinity positive powers and here there consists of positive powers of z minus z naught as well as negative powers of z minus z naught okay so so now i will discuss what is Lorentz theorem okay so so if f of z be analytic in a domain containing two concentric circles c1 and c2 so we have two circles because this is c1 uh, sorry this is the center and this uh, is C1 and uh, this is C2 and this is C2 sorry, C1 and C2 and uh, we want f of z must be analytic in this angular region this angular region that means uh, here if f of z is analytic in this angular region and then And f of z is uh, represented by a, a, a series representation sigma n equal to 0 to infinity a n z minus z naught z minus z naught all power n and plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n divided by z minus z naught all power that is equal to a naught plus a1 z minus z0 plus a2 z minus z0 from square plus etc plus b1 z minus z0 b plus b2 divided by z minus z0 from square plus etc this consisting of non negative and uh, negative powers that means this is a positive powers of n and this is negative powers of the coefficient of Lorentz series are given by a n is so we can find coefficient the formula for finding coefficient is a n equal to 1 by 2 by a integral over c f of z divided by z star minus z naught or power n plus 1 b z and b n is it will uh, taken counterclockwise around a simple closed path c so there uh, uh, where c is any simple cloth closed path inside this. 
this and so that is this is z node z node is a point and a circle c2 and this is c1 and uh, this is our C. Okay. Now it's very difficult to find uh, the coefficient by using this uh, formula. So usually we doesn't use these formulas for finding coefficient. Instead we use the uh, uniqueness, uh, some other method. So uh, the uniqueness of Lorentz series. The Lorentz series of a given analytic function f of z in its analysis of convergence is unique. So this is very important. Lorentz series is unique in this analysis of convergence. So if you have an angular region, then Lorentz series expansion is unique there. But f of z may have different Lorentz series in two angular with the same center. If you take the, uh, another angular region, there may be different Lorentz series expansion. Okay, so. The uniqueness is essential as uh, we turn in Taylor series to obtain coefficient of Lorentz series we do not generally use the integral formula instead we use various other methods some of which shall be illustrated in this example so if, uh, if a Lorentz series has been formed by any such process the uniqueness guarantees that it must be the Lorentz series of the given and so if you find any Lorentz series uh, expansion in in some angular region that must be the uh, uniqueness uh, that must be the Lorentz series by uniqueness of Lorentz series so if you find any series representation in an angular region that must be the Lorentz series expansion so we, now we will uh, we will do by using McLaurin series. So here find the Lorentz series expansion of 1 by uh, z power f of z is here z power minus 5 and z with the center z equal to 0. So here z equal to 0 is the center. So there is no Taylor series expansion because this is not analytic at z equal to 0. So instead we will uh, obtain Lorentz series expansion. For, for that uh, uh, what we will do is uh, we have already we know that uh, same z Taylor or Maclaurin series of signs that is sigma n equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 factorial z raised to 2n plus 1 that is equal to z minus z cube by 3 factorial plus z raised to 5 by 5 factorial minus etc. Now what we will do is here the center is 0 right. So, instead we will multiply z raised to 5. 1 by z raised to 5 sin z is equal to, if you multiply this, you will get 1 by z raised to 5 minus 1 by 3 factorial z square plus, plus 1 by 20 factorial, sorry, 5 factorial plus x. So you will get uh, this is equal to so and this is valid when mod z greater than zero. So the our angular region is uh, this point is removed. So this point is removed and this is the more angular region. Zero less than zero less than mod z less than infinity. So we get a series expansion with the center 0 and in point 0 in the angular region mod z greater than 0. It is, it is mod z greater than 0. So by the uniqueness the series expansion is 
uh, in series expansion of this function is and uh, here the principal part is this is the principal part that means negative powers of z z minus zero now if you uh, do second example we have to find out the current series expansion of z square into e raised to 1 by z with the tangent as 0. So, we already know that Maclaurin series expansion of e raised to z is 1 plus z plus z square by 3 factorial plus z cubed by 3 factorial plus etc. So, what will be the Maclaurin series of 1 by z given here? What is it? Because it is not analytic at one uh, z equal to zero. So this is one plus one by z plus one by z square two factorial plus one by z cube into three factorial plus So now what will be the series expansion z square is equal That's square into this one plus one by two factorial z plus one by two factorial z square plus etc. So this is equal to z square plus z plus one by two plus one by two factorial z plus z. By 3 factorial z plus x z or z greater than 0. So, this will be the Lorentz series expansion of z square e raised to 1 by z. So, the principal part here is this is the principal part. Now, next we will do another problem. We want to develop a here f of z is given 1 by 1 minus z and we know that we know that we have to first in non-negative powers of z and then negative powers of z we know that Maclaurin series so, so this is a Maclaurin series expansion so here we have to find out the, this is not analytic at a so we want to find out uh, this Lorentz uh, Maclaurin sorry Lorentz series expansion of z because then that zero because negative powers of z not z minus anything z so we know that one by one minus z is equal to we already discussed one plus z plus z square plus etc and this is valid only when more z less than one why because if you 1 by 1 minus z you can write as n equal to 0 to infinity z power n. So if the x radius of convergence is 1. Because if you use a use ratio test, so then by ratio test this is a this is convergent when limit n tends to infinity z power n plus 1, a n plus 1 divided by z power n, this is less than 1. So, limit m tends to infinity more z less than 1. So, this is converted when more z less than 1. So, this is valid when more z less than 1. So, so for more z less than 1, the Lorentz series expansion is 1 minus 1 by z is equal z plus z square plus x plus z power n plus x now uh, the uh, now we want to find out the uh, Lorentz series expansion when more z greater than so more z for more z greater than one we already have this Maclaurin series okay. so for more z greater than 1, we know that 
mod z greater than 1 then 1 by mod z less than 1 so now now for so this is valid then what we will do is we already know that 1 by 1 minus z this can be written as 1 by if i take uh, minus z outside then what you will get minus 1 by z plus okay. so this can be written as 1 by minus z into 1 minus 1 by z minus 1 by z into 1 by 1 minus now if mod z greater than 1 we know that 1 by mod z less than 1 so this quantity is less than 1 therefore we can find the Lorentz series expansion instead of z we can put 1 by z so this is minus 1 by z into 1 by sorry the expansion is 1 plus 1 by z plus 1 by z whole square plus etc. So this is valid when more z greater than 1. So here the power of z is non negative negative powers of z that is minus 1. Okay. So 